Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. Hello, and welcome to the third and final stream about Age of Triumph, which is scheduled to be the very last live event in Destiny 1. Uh, today, we're going to be talking to you about the rewards that you will earn, about delving back into some of the biggest challenges that you faced across three years of adventure in Destiny. And we're going to talk about why people play Destiny. So why do people play Destiny? Having fun with your friends? Well, I like to play because I get armor. You get loot. Uh, whether you like to blow stuff up, whether you like to enjoy light moments, with challenging moments with your clan, every Guardian can agree that it's fun to get loot. And shoot stuff. And shoot stuff. Yeah. Yep. It's fun to get some new weapons. That's right. It's fun to dress up your Guardian in some new exciting ways and show people how awesome your legend has become. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, today will be equal parts fashion show and weapon inspection. Uh, I'm Deej. I will be your host. And as always, I have uh, two of the creators of uh, this fine piece of work on the couch to talk to us about what you have in store for us. Uh, and they are Ian, Ian McIntosh. McIntosh. Yes. And Josh Hamrick. Oh, hi. So uh, today, we're going to take a look at uh, how the sandbox in Age of Triumph will be evolving. Uh, we have new armor free to earn. Uh, we have uh, some weapons, some of the most iconic weapons in the history of this game yep. that are making a comeback in some new and exciting ways. So to do that, we have a series of guardians who are dressed up in some of the things that you're going to be craving. Uh, some of the new ornaments, some of the new armaments, ar ar armaments, ornaments, <laughs> armor. Ornament and ornament. So, ornament, 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 ornament. All of the above. All of the above <laughs> uh, that you're going to be adding to your inventory. Uh, and uh, in order to accomplish that, uh, we have booked the Dreadnought for a fashion show. So here we are. This will be uh, our chamber for the day. Uh, and before we start showing uh, the different get-ups that we have, uh, Ian, I want you to talk to us a little bit about uh, the concept work that was done to create these armor sets. Uh, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is uh, this concept for the Vault of Glass armor set. Yes. So Check that out. Who's the artist on that? This painting was done by Ryan Demita. And as you can see, it's a beautiful Vex armor set. And the idea is that as you've gone through and raided the Vault of Glass several times, your guardian has gone back in and taken trophies and created this new armor set out of it. Cool. All right. So uh, that's always been the theme, right? We, we claim trophies from our enemies. We dress ourselves up. The more you defeat your enemies in a raid, the more it almost seems like you're starting to merge with them, almost to embrace their technology or their energy. Absolutely, yes. You're really taking it and making your guardian more powerful using their strengths and imbuing it into yourself. OK. So uh, let's come back to uh, our fashion chamber hall here aboard the Dreadnought. Let's bring out the original raiders from the Vault of Glass. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So what I love about this set is um, you're more vexified than ever, and it's got <laughs> those beautiful blue glowing accents all over the place. Glowing cape. Uh, it's a cloak, actually. Oh, it's sorry. Yeah. Cloak, yes. Josh is very sensitive about his hunter terminology. Apologies. That's <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's beautiful. And then uh, we'll, we'll certainly talk about the weapons. We can see uh, dueling fate bringers here. Uh, but before we do that, let's... Uh... Oh, yeah. Check out that warlock. So on the back, you'll see those glowing tentacles from off of a harpy. Mm -hmm. Just love that. And if you check out the legs, if you glance down, You'll notice the whole legs, well, from the knee down, have been replaced with Vex pieces. So there's really no foot inside there. It's just Vexified feet, which would be a fun challenge, I think, for cosplayers. 
<laughs> without any personal uh, harm inflicted, hopefully. Yes. Don't and hurt yourselves. No, please do not hurt yourselves in the interest of cosplay. And yeah. then finally, we have our friend, Ooh, the Titan. Yes. I, I love this Titan armor. Uh, I'm a little biased because I created this set, but um, I think the highlight is definitely the shield on the back of the armor there, which is just ornamental. It doesn't actually give you any perks, but still looks really badass. Well, and that's why we Confirmed. fight in certain instances. I want to look, I want to look like a badass. So uh, these are uh, the ornaments that we are applying to uh, the new armor that's dropping in the raid. Uh, if you're playing the new 390 raids, you're going to receive uh, drops that will bring you up to max light. And it is my understanding that from the challenge modes, when these raids are uh, the weekly featured activities, uh, you will get the ornament tokens. And you can spend those tokens to apply these specific ornaments. Yes. They'll be, you can use the same tokens on all of the sets, so it's not specific for each one. Mm -hmm. you, if you earn it in one area, you can use that token on any armor set you'd like. So if uh, Crota's End is the weekly featured raid activity and I earn ornament tokens, but I really love this armor set and I have these drops, I can apply that to this and complete my Vault of Glass Absolutely. Master Raider oh, yeah. ornamental armor set. For sure. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm getting a little bit better at saying, saying ornaments and armaments in the same sentence. <laughs> I really should have rehearsed that. So, speaking uh, of armaments. Speaking of armaments, indeed. Yeah, so talk, let's, talk let's, clear the, let's clear out the biggest question, I think, right. which everybody has. You will notice that Deej has the standard issue Fatebringer uh, coated in sweet bronze material mm -hmm. and looking ever classy. Uh, but our friendly hunter here has an... Uh, an adept version. Uh, of An said. elemental primary, if you That's will. That's correct. So what we did is we we took the idea that we did Forever Go and Trials of Osiris. So there are two different versions of each of the raid primaries. Okay. Uh, in this case, Fatebringer. And there is an adept version that is also an exotic. And so if you would like Fatebringer to show up with its arc damage uh, from year one, then what you can do is run the exotic version during those arc burns when you know you're going to want it. And uh, you will be ready to go. However, if you want to run with it just in PvP, then you might wish to apply the legendary version mm -hmm. of the standard Fatebringer at max light level that you've gotten yeah. from your hard work during the raid, and, uh, and then run with it and maybe some other exotic instead. And so, but you can use your exotic slot to get those primary element, elemental damages back. And they look really sweet, because yep. they, uh, they, made, they made them look all new and exciting. So that's not a fate bringer ornament, that is an exotic fate bringer. And that is exactly right. Redesigned, redeployed. An exotic adept fate bringer. Okay. And that's what it looks like. And uh, here we go, the Vex Mythoclast. The Mythoclast. Uh, yeah, so you know, from day one it was a, a troublemaker <laughs> as it just were. A, just a tear, yeah. I remember uh, if you brought this into the Crucible when it was first being earned, you were the only person having fun Correct. in the Rumble match. Everyone loved you and everyone hated yeah, you. Everyone all admired the you. Same time. You, were, you were universally loathed. You're Let's hear it in action jerk. again. Let's hear it in action in all this glory. Oh, just beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. And so, yeah, so it's obviously, it's got an ornament that you can apply to the exotic Mythic Glass uh, and can re earn it in the updated raid. Uh, but yeah, generally, same, same Mythic Glass. Super high damage potential in close range, a yeah. little squirrely at range, uh, but super deadly. Have you made any changes to uh, how it works essentially in the sandbox? Uh, no, not, not recently. So if you have a Mythic class, you kind of know how it works. I will say that uh, one of the things about balance in general is that you don't have to touch everything to get a change, right? Mm -hmm. You can touch everything around an object and get yeah. changes. And so Mythic class being a fast firing fusion rifle sitting basically in, a, in an AR-like position, uh, because of changes made to other weapons in primaries, I think, uh, I think it's worthwhile, and it will be worth pulling back out, and people will be able to have some fun with it. Oh, this is sentimental right here. The vision. The vision. It's beautiful. Welcome back. So yeah, so this is the adept exotic version of Vision of Confluence. Again, has the damage type applied, and also uh, the, new, the new look. Yeah. And uh, while everything is not coming back as adept and exotic, you can re-earn all of your favorite Vault of Glass weapons uh, at max light. 
assuming you play these raids and, and give yourself over to them. Uh, Guardians, let's check them out. Guardians swap weapons. Looking good. I never got that heavy. What? Oh, yeah. Irk used to lord this over me all that's the time. A, that's a pretty great I, I got frustrated. Right? I stopped trying. Crota came along. Crota needed to be attended to, but we can see them all here. I still, I still use that found verdict, even though uh, one of your colleagues told me not to. I, should, should. I really like Found Verdict. I love so, Found so. Verdict, man. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not giving it up. And, uh, but that's, that's my love. Yeah. Right? This with, the, with the second scope on it is, yeah, that's my go-to. And honestly, I've been running the year one version in PvP uh, the whole time. The whole time. Well, you all look fabulous. Uh, these are the new champions of the Vault of Glass. We thank you for strutting your stuff. You are dismissed. Cast a yep. handsome looking bow and disappear into Ooh, the ether. Nice. Yes. Farewell and see you again soon. All right. So, up next, Ian. Yes. Uh, we're going to take a look at a concept for the armor that you will earn in Crota's End. In Crota's End. Yes. So, let's take a look at this. Who's the artist on this? The artist was Dima Goryanov. And uh, when I first saw this concept art, it just blew my mind. I was really excited to start working on it. And you can see that. Obviously, the first thing you notice are these glowing horns that are just jutting out everywhere. Yeah, yeah, as if, as if they've killed so many hive that, that that life force, that energy, is it's almost starting to transform them as it did Eris Morn. Yeah, that's a good uh, way to look at it. I mean, think about how many times your guardian has gone through and raided with this set on, and every time you kill those hive, their energy gets imbued into your armor until the point where it can't contain it anymore and it breaks through the outer shell, and that's what you get. Actually changing, I mean, we've had ornaments that change the way things look, but you're actually changing the geometry of the armor now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, come back to the fashion show, and we are going to bring out the guardians who have slayed Crota all over again. Nice. Work it, work it, hit your mark, hit your mark. Look, just look at that. They're just, they're just bristling. Check oh, them out. Yeah. I mean, you can see them from a distance, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. These and guys when you are get close, targets you'll... on themselves in the crucible. <laughs> yeah, notice uh, how the energy is just flowing out of them, and it's just a constant wave of bright light. Uh, definitely, like, my favorite set overall, I think. And the Warlock in particular, very nice. Cool. Uh, and uh, talk to me about how else this energy uh, impacts the game experience. So, yes, uh, we did something really special here. Uh, at, and what we did is, if you get damaged, then you'll notice what happens is that glowing proto energy rebounds and protects you for a split second. This will only hurt for a second, my friend. Check and then, as you recover, it grows back out. That's, yeah, that's so cool. Super cool. Yeah, we had a lot of fun coming up with that. And of course, you've got the floating rocks there, too, which is just like the cherry on top. All right, of course, we're going to uh, have tons of fun with this on all the characters, so you can see. <laughs> really cool looking. Yeah, I never get tired this of that. Guy, this just looks like <laughs> this looks like some sort of exotic dinosaur from Jurassic Park or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, I had the pleasure of making the Titan for this one. Wow, really cool, really cool. And the, the floating rocks almost seem to become aggravated. They do, yeah. When you're damaged, they shake around a little bit as they try to recover, and then they get into a stable state and chill out a little bit. This is almost an interesting piece of player feedback as people are raiding together or as they're playing together. It's like, sir, sir, you have no horns. Sir, get behind me. Get behind me. No horns on my ex. There's no, no horns. horns. <laughs> no horns on my ex. I'm absolute. I have no horns. One more time. All right, Josh, over to you. Yeah, Talk so, to me about uh, the guns. So this is a standard issue word of Crota, and yeah. the reason he has that versus the... Uh, the exotic adept version, uh, which does exist, to be clear, okay. is because in his secondary slot, I believe he has a uh, black spindle. And you'll notice my hesitation there. Uh, if we could get him to change, that'd be amazing. But yeah, he, show us your sniper. Oh, right. man. So here's the thing. Black hammer, 
as anybody who's played uh, Destiny post Crota knows, it was real, real good, real, real good. And in the uh, after we kind of let it sunset, we brought back Black Spindle as an exotic to fill that space. But again, yeah. as an exotic, because show us that, that sniper, correctly, Guardian. Correctly, uh, show us that sniper. Set its power level. Thank you. So we've chosen to leave Spindle and uh, Black Hammer. Never to be heard or seen again was lost, I'm afraid, in, in two Crota. Uh, so for those of you wondering where it is, that's the God's honest truth. <laughs> Too good to bring back. Uh, so get your spindle and have fun with that instead. But on happier terms, yes. if you go past the Oversoul Edict and go all the way down to the Titan, I believe what you'll find in his hands will make people happy, which is the Necrochasm. Oh. So, Here's the thing. Mythoclass totally had its day in the sun. Yeah. Uh, its days will live on in infamy, I'm afraid. The Necrochasm never quite got that. And so what we've done this time around is, one, it has an ornament uh, that can be applied to it. But it also previously had an effect. It's an assault rifle, as many of you know. And if you got a precision kill with it, the guys would explode and deal damage to those around them. But yeah. assault rifles, turns out, harder to land precision hits when you need them than you may think. Uh, so now we've updated the Necrochasm. So when you get a kill with Necrochasm, any kill, the victim will explode dealing damage around them. And so this should be a much more potent and devastating weapon. Uh, we've also, and I was gonna save this to later in the show, but you know what, we're improvising. So uh, <laughs> it's live, baby, do what you want. ARs have also gotten a boost in okay. general, and so are more potent. We can talk about the details of that a little bit later on. But just okay. so you know, Necrochasm, real, real good. Real, real good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the whole set. Guardians, swap weapons. There you go. They're your old favorites. Coming back at max light. Ready to be used again. An Iron Banner sometime in the near future is just going to be quite the cacophony of different pieces of armor, different weapons. I mean, if you think back in the day, you know, in year one, this was how you looked like the ultimate badass. You were wearing the current raid gear, you were wearing the current raid weapons. But now that you can mix and match that yep. stuff, I think we're going to see some really interesting combinations. Yeah, I think that's the most exciting part about this release to me is with everything coming up, People can look the way they want to look and play with the toys they want As to play As the community with. has said, make these things relevant again. Yep. And uh, you know, inviting a guardian to dress down into some weaker gear and go play an old activity, that's just not the way they think. It's not the way they roll. So everything is back. Everything is powerful. Everything is an option. And because we're not adding additional light to achieve, you know, we're all at 400. When these things drop, just add it to the mix. Yep. Just start using them. All right. Uh, thank you, champions of Crota's End. You are dismissed. And uh, Ian, we're going to take a look at uh, our next concept. So you're showing us a lot of the work that uh, different people at Bungie have done. Mm -hmm. uh, recently on the blog, you were kind enough to take us through uh, you know, the creative process that you share with your entire team about how we created the Iron Lord mutants, the mutant Iron Lords yes. that we face at the end of Rise of Iron. Yes. Uh, similarly, talk to us about some of the people that you worked with <laughs> to bring this new concept to life for the uh, armor ornaments for King's Fall. So the concept artist that did this painting is Ryan Gitter. And uh, it's the same kind of principle as the Crota set. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your Crota, or not your Crota, your Hive Energy yeah. in your armor. And this time, it's blue instead of green, which is a little more restrained. So for the players, especially the PvP guys, they don't want a big arrow pointed at them the entire time. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a more restrained, but still really cool look uh, to show how powerful you are. This is good for your, your elegant, formal evening gatherings. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. so Some let's, uh, cheese return... and wine tasting. <laughs> Some cheese and wine tasting, exactly. This is your perfect getup for that. Uh, so let's uh, return to our fashion show. And uh, here we are in the Grand Hall. And uh, bring out the guardians who have kicked Oryx's ass out of his own throne room all over again. Yes. 
Look at those beautiful bastards. <laughs> <laughs> They're all aglow. So I can see the uh, the armor effects here. This this energy is is just pouring through these cracks. Yeah. And and the kind of visual language that we went for is imagine you know kind of like molten lava within, although it's crota or uh, hive energy, and then the shell is more cool and just more glassy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when you know the energy is too intense, it cracks through, and then you see it spilling out. And this also behaves in the same fashion where if you get damaged, then Lights it, re it reacts to that, so. Energy retracts and then returns. Exactly. I mean, you no harm. I come in peace. Mm -hmm. Check that out, really cool, really cool. Yes. And last but not least, Mr. Hunter. Oh uh, yeah, I think the Hunter might be my favorite on this set. That's because it's a hunter. It's, yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm biased. I actually created this one. So. But, yes, all they're right. all very cool. Talk to me about these guns. All right, so for the maybe, hopefully, the worst news in the whole stream for everybody out there, right. loving hand cannons. Brace uh, yourselves, everyone. Brace yourselves. I, I, listen, I, I run hand cannons exclusively. It's my baby. That's probably why they're too good right now. Yeah. Um, Zoli's Bane here is a fine example. So what we've done is hand cannons, we've brought back the range just a hair. Oh, and the chat's got to be blown up right now. Just a hair, I promise. It's about three meters. That's it. It's not much. It's just to take the teeth off of some of the, some of the more potent hand cannons out there. And with the AR change, I feel like it's going to put the primaries in a better state of balance in okay. general. So what motivated that? Uh, that is a lot of data. Uh, a lot of research, uh, playing ourselves, playtesting internally, playtesting externally, mm -hmm. uh, and then listening to the community and just sort of like, and I know what you're thinking, you're like, I told you not to do that, because <laughs> some of you did, yeah. and I love you for that. Uh, but many of you also told me like, hey, listen, if I'm worried about these things, and the data supported that. So in the majority of the voices coming up, this is a, this is a decision coming out of that. Okay. Doom of Chalchus, one of my favorite scout rifles in the game. Full auto version is best version. Nice. And then uh, Sorry I believe to shoot the, you in the back. I, I know believe that's not, the, that's not the height of courage. I, I shoot warlocks in the back all the time. Oh, that's so. great. Okay. Uh, and then so what we have here is, of course, Touch of Malice, which has a new ornament. Uh, still works like it always did. Uh, just looks, you know, meteor. I'm going to go with meteor. Me Bonier? Me meteor. Me grosser? That's meteor, Maybe grosser. not meteor. That's that sort of a touch of orcs, if yeah. you will. Yeah. It's got those, that bat wing aesthetic that looks downright fleshy. It's got its sweet mm -hmm. charm bracelet hanging off the front there. Yup. 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 Very cool. Very cool. Light yourself back up. Come on now. You can do it. Looking mean. And Guardians swap weapons. Whoop. Get on. Get on your feet. Yo. Pointy. Careful. Yeah, looking Careful. Good. Looking good. Uh, I just want to work on myself out. on this. Iconic weapons reborn for a new age. Looking mean. Anything else you want to tell us about these? Uh, no. I think that's it. All right. We're good. All right. Champions who have braved Oryx and all of his terrors, you are dismissed. Thank you so much. You know what? There is one thing, dude. What's up? Uh, I believe that that uh, that was the first raid where we did not include elemental primaries. Oh, okay. And so to call that out, we have made for both uh, this raid and Wrath of the Machine, uh, King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine, we have made elemental exotic adept versions of their primary weapons. So those do exist. They look. For, Fantastic. For every raid now. They all have them. Okay. That's right. Yep. And uh, you can get the uh, legendary drops if you're playing the 390 raid whenever you want to, when, it find, when you find it in the director after right. they debut as the featured activity. But it is the weekly featured activity where you're going to get your adept exotic you drops. The, the challenges give you a chance at getting those drops. You're going to get so. your tokens for those armor ornaments. Or ornaments, yeah. And yep. then a chance for a, for a drop for the exotic okay. adepts. So, uh, right. You just uh, pivoted to Wrath of the Machine. Let's take a look at this concept, Ian. Yes, so this concept was uh, done by James Crowley, who's actually the, con or the uh, visual effects artist that created this armor set. So um, 
it, I mean, as you can see, it's a natural progression of the armor that you've come to know and love. The first one that you get is just very basic. The second uh, version of it, which is the first ornament, mm -hmm. is has those glowing uh, yeah. SIVA lights radiating out of it. Yeah. And then finally, this is the most mature version where it's kind of molting and the armor is ripping yeah. up you're and shedding SIVA. It's it, almost like SIVA is becoming rampant and actually coming off of oh the yes, armor to go absolutely. infect other forms. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Well, let's take a look at it in-game. Uh, we return to our fashion show. And if you've dismantled the machine, come on out and allow us to behold your wrath. Bring them out. Now, this set, I would say, has the most special effects of any armor that we've ever created for Destiny. Really cool set. And it's got a lot of nice little subtle things too. Not only have you got the stuff coming off of the armor, but then you've got those digital lights kind of flickering around mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the interior of the set. Yeah, it's just coursing over the entire skin. Yes, just crawling with energy. And then inside you can see just the power source within peeking through where it's starting to open up. Neat. Yeah, that's cool. Look at the cankles on that Titan. <laughs> <laughs> See him over there? Yeah, he's... he's... Yeah. Uh, you should get some powder for that. It's pretty brawny. <laughs> All right, so talk to me about these guns. Yeah, so actually our friend Hunter there in the middle is holding a Genesis chain. We teased this earlier. This is, this is now the point in the show where I was intended to talk about AR. You uh, scooped buff. yourself. I yeah. did. I did, but so I, auto rifles. let's get specific. So what we've done is ARs now. So back in 2502, we made hand cannons fall off mm -hmm. dramatically. Like we lowered the damage, the max percentage of damage at maximum range that they yep. can hit, uh, which put them in a much better place. Uh, and then with the recent update, that's better now. But the ARs, we've taken a, the opposite route. So this time I bumped the maximum amount of damage uh, that they fall off to. So... Uh, they get a decent extension of range uh, across all ranges. Really, they just they just deal a little bit more damage, and mm -hmm. I think I think it will give them the teeth they need to to pull them up where they need to be. We got them real close last time, uh, but the data shows they're they're just not quite there yet, and so do the voices from the community. This one, I believe, they will react very positively to, and I hope that they only remember that and not that we nerfed hand cannons in any way. Just a touch. You just, said just a touch. It is, it is a you very You just pulled in touch. the range. You didn't nerf it. You That's just right. pulled in the range. That's right. They're still bad. Corround them, if you they're were. Still, they're still a good close quarters stand and deliver weapon. And still my favorite weapon. It's still your favorite personal weapon, so that should tell you something. You're a sort of gunslinger actual. And uh, they're also going to find <laughs> elemental primaries Correct. for this set of raid weapons? Exactly. So all the Wrath of the Machine primaries have a, an exotic adept version mm -hmm. uh, that have an elemental damage uh, applied to them. I'll be honest, I can't remember exactly what we assigned them, but we tried to do that mathematically in a way that I closed my eyes and pointed out a gun and shot the damage <laughs> play. I think that's the process. Yeah, okay. uh, but now, like... A bulletin board and a series exactly. of darts? Uh, there, were, there were a series of darts until we were distracted by the squirrel. Yeah. Um, but the, we've tried to, to push them out so that we have kind of an even amount across all damage types. So okay. many choices. Many choices, run. many options. Exactly. Many ways to fight and be awesome. Guardians, swap your weapons. That's a bow. <laughs> Look at this guy! Don't even know how to swap his weapon. He was—he was thinking about it. Nice and compact. That's a nice sidearm. Yeah, we'll talk about sidearms. Sidearms aren't getting a lot of play now, so I yeah, sidearms are getting a little bit of play right now. So this guy right here, part of the problem, mm -hmm. but maybe not in update 2.6.0, which is what we lovingly refer to as Age of Triumph right here at Bungie. Uh, anything else to say about these brave guardians here? They look awesome. They've got some fantastic new weapons. I think they're all very nice people. All right, and they're all very, very nice people. Nice people, you are dismissed. Thank you so much. Cast a lovely bow and get out. Come on, out. Get. Get out of here. here. All right, uh, let's take a look at our last concept, Ian. Last and final set. Last and final concept for the uh, Age of Triumph armor actually yeah. comes from uh, the new box that we've created mm -hmm. for this event. Yeah, this is a quick paint over done by 
the art director Shikai Wang mm -hmm. uh, for the Moment of Triumph set. Okay, so we've got some year one armor here. Uh, you've added some interesting effects. How does all that work? Yeah, um, well, this is basically kind of, it harkens back to the early years of Destiny. Mm -hmm. Some of the armor designs may look a little familiar. Yes. But of course, now we've got the chromified uh, designs that celebrate what you've done. So let's take a look at these in-game. And uh, we're adding, just to clear up, we're adding chroma to this armor, and that's how those icons shine through? Yes, exactly. So this is the only chroma set for this release. OK. Um, let's yeah. bring them out. Let's bring out the Guardians of the Age of Triumph. Yes. Just beautiful. So in the interest of uh, presentation, Mm -hmm. in the interest of fashion, we've used all white chroma yeah. today. But obviously, if you have stores of chroma, as I do in your inventory, any color will work here. So yeah. let your imagination run wild as to what colors you would apply to this armor. I just ask that you try to be tasteful. <laughs> Don't do anything too clown town. <laughs> Uh, you know they're going to do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, you have, you, have, you have shown a weakness. Prepare for yeah, screenshots. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Never tell them what you don't want them to do. And <laughs> oh, they can oh, see, check that out. Cool. See that yeah, uh, bond that, there? That warlock bond is... Uh, Every few seconds, it changes. That's uh, super cool, man. Yes. That is super cool. And the class items, all, of, all three of them, um, are pretty rare. We haven't released many Chroma class items in the past, so... Yeah. This is your chance to get something to fill out your set, whatever it happens to be. And how do they earn those class items? The class items exclusively are gotten through the quest. The quest that you obtain from the speaker. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, you, uh, if you participate in Age of Triumph, if uh, you follow the, in the footsteps that the speaker lays out for you, uh, you'll be able to get your hands on all this awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and the rest of it you get in the boxes. Yeah, and uh, those boxes are obtainable. You get uh, three a week just for showing up and playing some of the weekly featured activities. Yeah. Uh, these ornaments, check them out. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. looking mean, Tiger. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's a dragon's breath that we've created a new ornament for uh, to get another chance to put a tiger in the game. You uh, literally fire rockets straight from a tiger's mouth. Not right now, though. Not right now. He's thinking about it. You yeah, can tell. No, 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 I know. Tell. He's, 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 he's aiming that it That trigger up. finger has just got to be itching right now. But don't do it, bro. And then uh, a little further down, you've got a Lord of the Wolves. Yep. Also ornamented. Sweet shotgun action. Looking nasty. Looking like a Kell of Kells right now. And then all the way at the end, uh, oh, we have... Oh, my baby. Yeah. So uh, Suros has always been our Italian car company of weapon manufacturers. Of course. And this kind of celebrates that. So we've got the gold and black, uh, beautiful Suros regime. I, I want this really Very bad. sleek. I will have it. It will be mine. Elegance amidst brutality. Suros. And benefiting from the recent AR changes, so... And then Suros actually has a second ornament as well that, that comes out with this release. Um, Can you show us that second ornament, Titan? There it is. So it's sort of a, an inverted version of the original. Yeah. It's more the prototypical variation. Definitely the color palette you would expect from any self-respecting Suros weapon. Exactly. Looking mean, looking great. And Guardians swap weapons. It's just another example of all the stuff. Some of the beloved Destiny weapons that you're just dying to add to your collection. Mixing and matching a little bit of Vault of Glass, a little bit of ornamental exotic. It's going to be really interesting to see how diverse, how varied all of the Guardians in the Tower are going to look over the course of the next few weeks as people start to pry these rewards out of the game. Yeah, so many choices. Choices, Still creating time. your legend, that's what it's all about, right? Yep, to and really celebrate what you've done. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for anybody who has really loved Destiny these recent years to one final time communicate to everyone, this is what has been most important to me. Uh, this, you know, I think that would be a really fun thing on Bungie Day is to welcome the oh, community, yeah. everybody, like, you know, share us, 
uh, you know, your portrait of your, your portrait. guardian, your ideal guardian, you know, the guardian that really represents the things that you've invested in, the things that have been special to you. Dress up in your finest memories and, and we'll, uh, you know, go to the creations page and, and share that stuff out with the world. Uh, thank you so much, Guardians of Age of Triumph. You are dismissed. Cast us a wave and get on your way. Hey, man, this is, <laughs> this, well, I guess Careful. the fashion show is over. So yeah. if you just want to burn the place down, that's one way to go about it. So um, for just a moment, uh, we're going to come away from the fashion show. Um, we have a uh, live fire exercise planned because, Josh, you have some other things in store for us. Yeah, we have a few additional changes to talk about. Okay. Um, so a lot of these we've, we've talked about on the blog. And people know about them. They know they're coming. Um, Assuming they read the while. blog. Assuming they read the blog. Got to read the blog. It's this is why you should read the blog. It's full of goodness. We're not always going to be here to stream. Actually, probably, there probably will always be a time where we stream the blog. It's I think, yeah, I think, I think we're going to keep doing this Twitch thing. It's yeah. been kind of you fun. You should still read the blog. Yeah, but you should still read the blog. Uh, so Arc Hunters uh, and those touched, I will say, mm -hmm. uh, by the recent health regen changes, uh, purposeful or not, uh, we'll be happy to hear that many of those changes are rolled back, including Ward of Dawncast. Again, this is on the blog if you want to go get the details. Service Regime rolled back. Uh, but there are things that kept the change. Uh, Red Death, Life Steal on Warlocks, Hungering Blade. Mm -hmm. But that change has gotten buffed. You get a lot more damage per kill now. Okay. It's generally just a better use, so it yeah. will keep you alive better, longer, happier. Better, stronger, longer, faster, happier, stronger, stronger yeah. faster. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Blink as well uh, got a buff in that we kept the, the changes where your hug goes away for a little while, but I rolled yeah. that back a hair so it doesn't okay. last as long. And we've removed the recovery nerfs that were included on the node. So when you chose Blink before, your recovery would just be pushed down. Okay. Uh, that is no longer necessary, we feel, and we've pulled that off okay. uh, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the best source for all of these changes, of course, will be the patch notes that we will publish yes. to the blog on March 28th at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Update 2.6.0 is uh, the internal serial number, uh, version number that we apply to Destiny in terms of Age of Triumph. So this will be version 2.6.0. Right, these are all changes for 2.6.0. Yep. And we'll tweet those out. So uh, on Tuesday, you'll be able to read all about the percentage points and all about the finer details. But this is a great summary of some of the different things yep. that they can look forward to. So then Truth. Got a lot of people who were angry at me. Always tell the truth. Yeah. Uh, truth, we pulled a rocket from it. It's now a single rocket, so you fire it. You have to reload it every time. Yeah. Very mad. Very mad. Very mad. So I do think it's the right thing to do for the weapon. Yeah. Um, I think it's you know the good, a good call, but as a show of faith, an act of faith, if you will, <laughs> we have put a rocket back in your maximum inventory, so yeah. you can carry more in your pants. And then uh, we've also pushed it to the fastest <laughs> rocket launcher reload available, so nice. you do have to reload it. But so you're a man of principle and compromise. Exactly. It's a difficult I thing. Do, well, you know, it's a okay. balancing act. Yes, um, exactly. And then, so we've made changes to No Land Beyond, which I believe you can see here. There also newly ornamented. Newly ornamented uh, No Land Beyond. So sweet digital camo uh, now available for your No Lands. Okay. Uh, the thing is, with the No Land, maybe maybe you want to aim at a bad guy and they can shoot you in the face without killing you. Yeah, that guy. There you uh, go. If that warlock will shoot you. Formerly penitent, you actually, are under fire. Actually, he's got a shotgun. That's, gonna be That's terrible probably not going to be good. Maybe that hunter. Not what you think. You are under fire. Open fire on me, please. There you go. Okay. There you okay. go. Okay. Yeah. Don't so, kill me. Don't kill me. So a lot of kick, right? Yeah. yeah. A lot of kick. Uh, so no land now acts more like a tradi traditional sniper rifle. If you uh, can get the shots on unsuspecting folk, yeah. uh, you will probably going to clean up. If they see you and begin to react to you, you may want to change weapons and or just bail out of that situation. Okay. Oh, look at you. Now I got a sidearm, so I'm part of the problem. <sighs> look at this guy. So yeah, so previously sidearms, uh, the way they work, um, so they have a, a special power, if you yeah. will. If every other special in Destiny's special power is they can kill you in a single yeah. shot, that is not what sidearms do. I want to interrupt you for a second. Yes. We are talking about sidearms, but now that I've made a kill... Oh, look at your scorey. I have activated my scorey's artifact. That's right. Hey, hey, I want to apologize for what just happened there. Thanks for coming back. Uh, um, so yeah, so scorey. So let's switch to that real quick. So scorey has been changed so that now it runs for a minute if you have gotten a kill while your super is full. Yeah. Uh, and it will wear off. So in trials, instead of camping, um, in general, just like... it. It's not the greatest thing for us when we see, like, hey, we made a thing, and now everybody just sort of sits around for three minutes while they cook their supers with it. Like, 
wasn't quite what people wanted. Yeah. So now it's a little more active. You get a kill while your super's full. That thing kicks off, starts charging your super for all your friends, and works for another minute. Gotcha. Uh, in PvP, it would be easy to keep those kills coming. Basically, scory should never turn off. In PvP, especially trials, yes, mostly especially trials, trials. Uh, that is a much harder thing to do. And it at least means that you're playing the game uh, if you want to burn your super up. Yeah. So. And we are playing Mayhem, for those of you in chat who are wondering why my super is recharging so quickly. So uh, as my super recharges, uh, we're not going to be camping in the back to share super energy with my friends. But uh, not what you think. I mean you no harm. I apologize in advance. Part of the problem. <laughs> now that I've made a kill. Score is working. Score is working. Yep. And between rounds and trials, that will also disable it, right? Okay. Because it's, it's basically as if you died and came yep. back. And so every round, you'll need a kill to kick off score. Okay. So uh, relative to being part of the problem yes. uh, with uh, sidearms, yes. um, talk to me about, I interrupted you. Yeah, you, were, you were on the path of talking about how this sidearm in my hand was about to change. So, uh, so sidearm's special power has always been that it comes back with ammo. It yep. doesn't one-hit kill guys. It is real good, but yep. it doesn't one-hit kill. And so its special trait is that it always has ammo, which is something that we didn't want to lose. It's part of the sidearm's identity. However. Previously, sidearms would stack ammo, mm -hmm. and so every time you would get ammo and then die, you come back with what you previously had, you get more, you die, you come back with more, right? It just like keeps adding up, and that's yep. a problem. So now, uh, if that hunter there were to murder you in cold blood... Cold uh, blood, bring it. Not what you think. You are clear to fire. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Come on, Mar. Come on. Put me down. Kill him. Put me down. Kill him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And, okay. And, and so you had, I believe you had 12 in the magazine and eight in your pocket. And now you are going to come back with just 12. So you come back with one magazine's full every time when you are respawned, okay. when you die and respawn. Yep. And so uh, like it's, it. in theory, it's enough that you want to, you'll have some in your pocket, keep you safe while you head for a special crate. Yep. Uh, but it is likely not enough. Hopefully it is not enough to just run around without ever having to think about special in a yep. way that sidearms are... You know, the thing doing. that's really... I'm a, I'm a shotgun player, I'll admit it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing that's annoyed me, um, you know, when I pick up heavy ammo, it goes right into the gun. When I pick up special ammo... So the I'm change... I'm standing around reloading that stuff. That's right. So now... Nice. That's right. Uh, so this is one thing. We haven't talked about it. We've purposely kind of kept it as a semi-surprise. Uh, Surprise. Yeah. We, uh, Surprise. The PvP guys uh, made this change for us, uh, and I think all of us are super happy with it. So the idea now is that special crates work just like heavy crates. When you pick them up, it will instantly reload the weapon in your hands. And I think that, in combination with the sidearm, I think that's our, I'm hoping, that's our magic bullet to fix the special problem. I get it. I yeah. get what you did there. Yeah. The uh, magic bullet that well, goes yeah. right into your gun. And so now if you have a sniper rifle or a shotgun or yeah. a fusion rifle, you can make that race for the crate, pop it, and then instantly like zero in on a guy and drop them in time. And so I, I think that that reduction in time and just... Uh, general annoyance of having to deal with your guns after having also fought over the ammo will make a, a yeah. dramatic difference there. Okay. Uh, what else? What else do you want to cover? I think we might have... Let me check my sweet note cards Check here. your sweet note cards. I think we got it all. All I right. I think we got it all. Well, that is how we're looking at the sandbox evolving. And uh, we've got all sorts of new stuff for you to earn. I think so. We've got all sorts of fascinating things to add to your arsenal. Uh, I'm going to thank all of these people for uh, being fabulous talent show. That's no way to thank people. That's no way to, <laughs> no way to thank somebody. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll display. have our we'll have our little victory dance here. And uh, thank you so much for uh, strutting your stuff today. Uh, Deesh, can I say thank you to the community? For, you can uh, always, always. Oh God, you can oh, always. Yeah. You can think always about say your children. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, I've been, I've shown up on the forums a couple of times, I've been active on Twitter and just going back and forth talking to you guys and it has been a treat and an honor and uh, I think I know that I've learned a lot about the way that you guys play and the things that you like and what you're looking for and I hope that I've been able to shed some light and insight on the way that we're thinking through problems and the way that we're trying to fix them and I just want to say thank you for that. It has been a, it has been a pleasure and I look forward to continuing that in the future. Uh, and the whole team, the whole Sandbox crew and PvP team that helped do all these changes, just thank you for that. We're excited to see you guys play this stuff. So, 
It's a process. It's a collaboration, right? right. Uh, always evolving, always changing. Uh, chat is just full of hearts right now. Oh. Just nothing but hearts and a few trials of Osiris uh, logos. Thanks, Twitch. Yep, You're absolutely. Uh, what about you? Do you want to thank the community? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, <laughs> choose uh, wisely. Uh, we wouldn't have uh, jobs if it weren't for you. You keep, you know, the bread on the table and um, it's... And the room temperature water in the glass. Yes. Yep. Cheers. Oh. And, um... Eh? Eh. Here you it's go. a joy to come eh. to Bungie eh. every day and make sweet, sweet armor for you guys. So, thanks. And bad guys for him to kill. Uh, yep. Of course. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this has been the third and final stream uh, in our series about Age of Triumph. Uh, this is my favorite part. This is where we stop talking about Age mm -hmm. of Triumph and we turn the conversation over to you. Uh, Tuesday is your opportunity to play these things, uh, to dive back into your old favorite raids, uh, to add interesting ornament. God, why? <laughs> You're so close. I was so close. Ornaments to your armaments. That's right. Uh, add interesting ornaments to your favorite armor, to your favorite weapons. Uh, dress up, get fabulous. Uh, show us why you love Destiny. This is our victory lap. This is the culmination of our Destiny 1 adventure. Uh, we're looking forward to having you join the party, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in the tower. Thanks so much to Ian McIntosh and Josh Hamrick for uh, creating amazing art and uh, making good decisions about how it should work when we're aiming it at each other. Uh, thanks to uh, our guardians who paraded their stuff through the scene today. Thank you, uh, guardians. Thank you, guardians. Uh, I'm Deej. Uh, it's always my pleasure to host. Thank you so much for showing up and adding your conversation to the chat. We will see you Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time when we deploy Age of Triumph to a console near you. Cheers. Deej out.